Hello everyone, welcome to Bargain Gaming, where we can play excellent games without busting our wallets. This is episode 341 of uh, 341 of uh, Phoenix Point. Uh, in the last episode, uh, the game crashed, and therefore I have to replay the whole last episode uh, to extricate ourselves. And so I started recording right after we left that scene, we left the, the Citadel. That's the very first Sita that we ever did, and uh, it was not that hard, right? Uh, compared to having uh, our epic fight with only four people. And so we got the message from the Exalted, from the Anu. You've always stood by our side, even when things got difficult. You've fought for our havens and for me. That kind of loyalty means a lot to me. Our war for humanity is not yet over, and difficult battles still lie ahead. So please, accept this gift. It will make you stronger, and a stronger Phoenix project is good for all of us. And so right now, we are now at 99% with them. Because right after we destroyed, uh, I think, uh, remember uh, earlier, we, the previous episode, we saved an Anu Haven? Uh, and then before that, uh, we solved their, uh, what do you call it, the, the third diplomacy mission, so we became allied. So we got plus five on that one, and then when we saved their ha haven, we got another plus uh, 12 or something. And when we did this, I think we got plus 17 for Anu. So when we uh, destroyed the citadel, we got plus 17. So they gave us, their, well, this is a rich haul, 250 tech, 875 food, and 1,100 materials. We've been through so much together. Or let's put it this way. You've done so much for us. Our history is so full of betrayal and disappointment that sometimes it's hard to remember that there are others out there who really do share our values. Oh, this gift is just symbolic. We can never really repay you. But I hope everyone at the Phoenix Project understands how much we at Synedrion appreciate your friendship. Wow, we've got them too. So we're at 99 with them too. 375 tech, 500 food and 1000 materials. Whoa, we are swimming with in materials now. Ouch, that hurts. Okay. Oh man, that feels so good. Okay, uh, hmm. And so, uh, and uh, okay, okay. We better save this. So that's that l citadel has been destroyed. Okay, let us save the game. Uh, back to Geo One. Yeah, back to here because all through since Phoenix Geo One, we have been saving to G Geo to Geo One to Geo Two to final to Geo Three because we were postponing. Like we had like more than four days, and then suddenly we just had four days as we were solving a lot of stuff here. Now we have a we have been told that we that um, Phoenix Horn of Africa will be uh what do you call will be invaded in 24 hours so that way that is good right we are told when they will invade us okay um hold on uh so this is i'm very excited okay so we have saved the game right okay we've saved the game and we need to go back a bit go so four and five are here in uh horn of africa we can actually, can we trade? I think we can trade. No, they have nothing to trade. Uh, how about over here? Anything to trade? Nothing to trade. Okay, so we can have our people continue to sit here and wait for uh, the invaders to come. And um, so that that way it's fair, right? Unlike just suddenly our Samarkand, like this base was just overrun. Really? Can you just just overrun like that? That is just total, total BS. So I, I really, really dislike 
that kind of uh, situation. So everything is being uh, remodeled or, or being repaired right now. Yeah, we spent close to 500 tech and o almost 2,000 materials on that one. So we have our containment uh, will be done. Uh, okay, we need to fix the repair also. Ouch. No, we, no. Oh, it's under repair right now. Okay, under repair. So that's why containment under repair, Miss Repeller, uh, the ar archaeology lab. Those that one really hurt us because uh, we did not repair this. Whoa, two hundred. Wow, no, no, forget it. No, no. Um, we don't need it that much. This is under repair. Okay. Um, Okay, I am trying to to see what we should do next. Um, okay, oh, yeah, I have to go back to uh, 3 and 2. Uh, 3 is, is trading here? Uh, why is... Why is why is three trading? I thought. Oh no no we yeah this is Zabala right yeah we just we just yeah we just fixed that one okay um we'll send Zabala home uh three how about two two is way down here and okay it's still uh okay it's still exploring this one so we can send Zabala uh, team three home. And then four and five will stay on station. Uh, six and seven should return to prime. Or do we want do we want them to come and take over this? The living crystal. I think I think I think that might actually make a lot of sense for us. Okay. Anyway, uh, yeah. Let us come over here. Let's let's take this. Uh, seven will come and take this. Okay. Uh, and where's eight? I think we're sending eight back to uh, Phoenix Prime and then we're sending nine over to uh, North America where we are bringing two extra guys with us so that uh, teams two and three will have five a full complement of five each okay and then ten is still stationed here in Antarctica uh, no, nothing here, nothing happening. Uh, Helios 11 is trading. Oh, uh, we're done trading here. Uh, okay, we've finished that part. How about here? This is at Fort Churchill. Yeah, they have nothing to trade also. Uh, how about down here? Nothing to trade. Uh, how about here? Nothing to trade. Uh, also, oh, by the way, before we do that, I think... Um, when is the next set of recruits? Oh, in zero days. Uh, Okay, let's go to the research and find out what are we currently ultimate mutation. Okay, and then in manufacturing we need to. Um, wow, we used up a bunch of quivers. Athena, Athena, Hera, Pythagoras. Um, Crystal crossbow. Wow, we are very far away because we whatever we have we used up when we made the uh, 
Scorpion. Okay, I think we used up a lot of um, what do you call this? The um, used up a lot of uh, Destiny Three because that was a big fight. Yep, yep. We had like almost uh, uh, fifteen here, so we used up six of them. Wow. Okay. Anyway, uh, we were very well compensated by both Sinidrian and if we look at our diplomacy we will see that we are at 99 with both Anu oh we're at 100 with both Anu and and uh, Sinidrian so uh, wow okay pretty soon Anu will be fighting with Sinidrian also uh, and uh, Jericho is a uh, is at at war with Anu and aggressive with Sinidrian. I you know, uh, yeah, I still have a uh, a real issue with that. That we sh we should not. You know, also we are having what uh, I think two right. Uh, two is down here in South America. I wonder what this site is. Um, Okay, uh, no idea what that is. Uh, I thought we were sending 11. Oh yeah, we need to trade, right? Where do we want to, where, where do we need to go next? Because, uh, uh, no, nothing there. I think nothing here either. Yeah, we traded there. How about down here? Oh, nothing here. Elite training was destroyed. Nothing here. Nothing here. Nothing he uh who is that? Uh, what do they have? I think is that. Uh, I think that's an assault. Yeah, it's just a symbol of an assault. Uh, uh, Sergey, I think this is a berserker. Nothing to trade here. Uh, we can trade here. We can send it down here, so we can buy food. Wow, it's causing, I cannot even control it now. What, what, I cannot control it. Ah, uh, I think we're stuck. We're stuck. Oh, we now have a new research. We can do a, a complete the Scylla, Scylla autopsy. Ouch, I cannot control, it's like, uh... <sniffs> Whew, man. Pandora Intelligence Report 106, Arthron Shieldbearer Prime. Ha uh, Haven reports and scientific observations have identified new Pandora mutations. The following analysis is available, Arthron Shieldbearer Prime. Wow, 440 hit points. 
Oh, man. Shield Bearer Prime. This creature is the apex of Shield Bearer evolution, shielded by thick chitin with no known weak spots. It takes the role of a leader directing other units on the battlefield. It is estimated that elimi eliminating this Arthron would decrease overall enemy performance by 17%. Arthron Bane Champion, uh, wow, it has a launcher. A, a subspecies of Arthron that has managed to integrate a strain of the Pandora virus in its weaponry. Protected by a cheating carapace, this creature is specialized in long range combat to be avoided. Whoa, no! 240 and 20. 240 hit points, 27 will points, 23 movements. Fast, very smart. Ouch. Uh, Triton Umbra. What is this? An unnatural triton hybrid subspecies mutated through proximity to protein mutane gas. The exact nature and capabilities of the creature remain largely unknown. The only thing that is confirmed is that it only reveals itself when its life is threatened. Reports describe it as an oily, tar-like mutation and is extremely deadly at close proximity. So that's an invisible one. Yowch. Triton Ghost Alpha. A command type ghost uh, evolved to achieve near complete stealth in combat. 360 points. Uh, while equipped with a viral sniper rifle, it can also sneak up to opponents and paralyze them using its set. Oh man, this. Whoa, Skyla Tenebris. 49 will points. So that's 400 just to paralyze it. The mutation of Skyla that has evolved to inflict a massive sonic stun effect with its specialized head. Reports indicate the creature is less aggressive than standard Skyla, although protective when approached. The specimen is capable of destroying buildings as well as releasing mist and mind fraggers when feeling threatened. Wow. That is so enlightening. <laughs> it is so scary. Okay. Uh, Pause. Uh... Wow, okay. That is so scary. Uh Okay. Uh and we Wait, wait, wait. No, no. What we want to do is do our research, right? It says complete the Skyla. So we now have uh a Skyla. Where is the Skyla? Skyla Autopsy, okay. Battlefield reports suggest that the Skyla is the Apex uh, Apex alien. It is suspected that in addition to the creature's destructive capabilities, it's able to control lesser creatures. A complete autopsy will be able to uh, reveal more. Okay, uh, shredding technology. Okay, we will do that. And you know what, the Pandoran Lair, uh, that's 23 hours. Mutog Beast. Let's put Skyla on top. Uh, and a Pandoran Lair on top. Pandoran Skyla Autopsy. And then the Ultimate Mutation Technology. So we have, we'll do Ultimate and then the Skyla and then the Pandoran Lair. And um, if we go back to our Geoscape, we have, wow, we have a bunch of stuff that, uh, so researching ultimate mutation in one hour, archaeology lab in five hours. Con oh, those are repairs, right? Yeah. Uh, and then we have a couple more archaeology labs that are, that will be completed in 20 hours. Okay. Um, Oh, so uh, research of the Skyla uh, autopsy is is part of the tree for Phoenix uh, project. Okay. Um, where were we? This is ten. Uh, that's eleven. Uh, that's one. Okay. 
can we trade here nope nothing to trade uh, yeah we have six people here so the people in Antarctica are not are not getting much experience uh, this one we can open this one once we have um, uh, once we have what do you call this um, we've cleared out right once we have the mist uh, the mist repeller will c cover all th that uh, should we build a mist repeller here so it will clear out the mists on both sides here uh, how much does it cost to build a mist repeller oh we're doing a, two archaeology labs here so it might make sense to do a mist repeller Wow, 80 and that's fine because, uh, yeah, one day, zero hours. So that will hopefully kick up our, each archaeology lab will kick up our production of uh, legendary stuff by three. Because when we lost the one in Samarkand, uh, the production, uh, like for the crystals, it went down by two. Oh yeah, so each archaeology lab uh, will produce, will help produce one item per, per, uh, per query owned. So that's why we want to take over this crystal so that uh, each archaeology lab will, uh, we currently control three uh, mutane fields, right? And then, uh, so that three mutane fields gives us like uh, 24. So that means we have eight archaeology labs available, I think. Uh, it seems to be that's how it works, right? Uh, I am not sure. Uh, okay, anyway. Um, so where are we supposed to do next okay oh the other thing I was saying was that in the US uh, after we freed up this uh, Zabala it revealed a um, it revealed a, a layer or a nest nearby uh, hold on if we go down here it says active structures okay way up here uh, near the Great Lakes, right? So that is a nest. Okay, that's easy. Uh, and then the other one is oh down here, and I think that is a lair. Okay, that's a lair. Um, oh, I did change in four days. Okay, we really need to uh, come down here. In four days okay uh, this one does it have a also in four days okay so hopefully we can get this thing done and ship back these guys up north so that they can rest in um, yeah in in Michigan how about here in uh, I think this is our uh, Mexico do we have a we have living quarters or we can have them rest in uh, living quarters and maybe build a medical bay so that uh, they can they can recover wow that's a lot of bucks and it will take it will take We don't really need it because we can always use the. Uh, we don't need it. Okay. What we can do is maybe build another archaeology. Right? Yeah, let's build another archaeology. Maybe two of them. Okay, 
Oh, three days. Huh? It'll take three days to fix it. So I think uh, basing them off here is a better deal so that we don't have uh, going down here so far. Maybe for now we can base it because we're coming up here. Take this one off the table and then and then go down to this this one. Wow. Okay. Uh, or worst comes to worst, we might have to split our team again. Um, okay. Let's unpause it. Research complete. Ultimate mutation technology. Thanks to a breakthrough in genetic science, it is now possible to create biological weapons infused into an individual's physiology. Test subjects have demonstrated an ability to transform their own flesh into weapons and defenses, reducing the need for armor and ammunition. These new procedures are now available at the mutation lab. So we need to build a lab. Okay. Ouch, okay. So again, it's very similar to the cybernetics lab. So with the cybernetics lab, we can uh, augment our troops. Wow, this is slowing down. Ouch. Uh, the game is, yeah, the game is slowing down. Uh, I press X and uh, it's frozen. So the game is really, really having a hard time. Uh, you know what? Maybe uh, I should clear up the inventory also. Because uh, maybe trying to maintain or trying to keep track of the inventory will cause the is causing this slowdown too. Uh, we have 757 items in inventory, so all the all the old weapons that we don't we have not been using, uh, I think we can. I, I will just uh, scrap them and then uh, we'll recover some materials. Not much tech, but okay. Uh, wow, this is Pandorans will reach uh, in 22 hours. Okay, uh, save the game. Okay, there goes our timer, so um, I guess this would be a good place to uh, cut the episode right here. Thank you guys for joining me. I hope you'll join me in the next uh, episode. Bye. Wow, everything is slow. Even this. is <laughs> This is slow. Okay, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.